a woman who was paraded in the back of a Hamas pickup truck as militants jeered following their violent incursion was last night identified as a German tattoo artist. Shani Lauk, 30, was at a music festival for peace when she was seized by terrorists as they attacked Israel in a surprise assault which has left at least 480 people dead and 3,200 injured. She was filmed in the back of a truck, terrorists sitting around her and supporters of the group cheering and running alongside her. Hamas had claimed the body was a female Israeli soldier but it was last night confirmed to be Shani by her cousin Thomasina weintraub Lauk, who told DM that the family recognized her distinctive leg tattoos and dreadlocked hair. She said, we have heard nothing. We are hoping for positive news. It is definitely Shawnee. She was at a music festival for peace. This is a nightmare for our family. The tragedy comes as Palestinian militants launched its worst onslaught for 50 years on Saturday by unprecedented land, sea and air attacks even using hang gliders to avoid detection. In a coordinated, multi-pronged assault. Palestinian terrorists crossed into Israel from the Gaza Strip, seizing settlements and capturing and murdering civilians celebrating a Jewish holiday. Dozens of people are feared to have been snatched off the street and returned to Gaza, or simply killed on the spot. Rashi Sunak is expected to speak to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to tell him Britain is on standby to offer help and assistance at the soonest opportunity. The music festival attended by Shani was one of the first sites to be attacked by the terrorist group with reports suggesting dozens were killed on site with more taken hostage by the militants. Bodies of Israeli civilians were strewn across the streets of Dero in southern Israel, near Gaza, surrounded by broken glass. Terrified Israelis, barricaded into safe rooms, recounted their plight by phone on live TV. Other footage showed captured soldiers and civilians, some dead, being paraded through Gaza's streets. Heralding the start of what Hamas called, the greatest battle to end the last occupation on earth, Gaza's ruling group had earlier poured into Israel in a convoy of trucks, cars and motorcycles after an advance party bulldozed the heavily fortified border, previously considered impregnable. World leaders have appealed for restraint in the conflict, which threatens to severely destabilize the region, with US President Joe Biden warning Israel's enemies not to take advantage of the situation. Speaking on Saturday night, PM Netanyahu issued a dire warning to Hamas militants. I tell Hamas, you are responsible for the well-being of captives, Israel will settle the score with anyone who harms them. Enough is enough, Deef, who does not appear in public, said in the recorded message. Palestinians use an excavator to break through the border fence separating the occupied Gaza Strip from Israel. In Gaza, the roar of rocket launches could be heard last night and residents reported armed clashes along the separation fence with Israel. One terrorism expert added that the captured Israelis could even be used as human shields to stop the Israeli Air Force, which began pounding Gaza yesterday, from blowing up certain targets. Shocking footage shared on social media appears to show Palestinian fighters parading the naked body of an Israeli woman on the back of a pickup truck. Salah al-Aruri, a top Hamas official, told the Al Jazeera television station that his group is holding a large number of Israeli prisoners, including senior officers adding they will be used to bargain for the release of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails. Onslaught from land, sea and air. Ian Gallagher reveals how Palestinian terrorists crossed into Israel and launched a coordinated, multi-pronged assault that left the world recoiling in horror.